Hi, this is Dave Gawley from Pentagon Solutions. I'd like to take a look at the Detail Component Manager in AutoCAD Architecture 2012. The Detail com Component Manager is accessed via the Home ribbon. You can see Detail Components. And essentially what it is, it's a database into standard components. This case I am pointing towards my UK database. And again, this is standard components for brickwork, blockwork, cladding, walling, etc. in there, and they're all 2D items. And it makes it very easy to navigate and actually find these components. So they're all categorized, standard MBS um, categories in here. So what I can actually do is browse through them and find the particular item that I'm looking for. So in this case, I say I'm going to insert a RAF foundation. So you can see the appropriate keynote, and all I do is hit insert component. But it has a level of intelligence. So you can see in here we have wall thickness. I can change my wall thickness to 300 mil. I could change the depth of my trench side to 1200. And I could give that position for that raft. So it's a detail that's inserted into the drawing. And um, again, it's dimension driven. So you can change the dimensions once they're actually physically in. But once they're in the drawing, it's a physical block reference detail. Um, if I wanted to add some block work into it, I could go back in my detail components again. So this time I'll be looking for my F category. Um, I'll look for some standard block work, say 100 mil. I can hit insert component. I can start to put in some standard block work. And again, again it'll obey my ortho, my cetera in there. I can flip that to the Y direction. On the Y side there, I can bring in some block work as well. So I'll take my internal block work on up. And then that allowed me to go back into my detail components and actually bring in some brickwork for this. So I can go to my bricks, standard 65mm brick. Again, I can pop them in. But we can try and align and lock up with existing properties in there. Very handy thing about the detail component manager is that you can decide whether you want to show the mortar receptor in there. So you can see hatch block, yes or no, show mortar, yes or no, so you can take the components off. Again, we can put that back in again. Another good um, point is the setting position. Say if it was on header, we could change it to header. We could change it to soldier. We could change it to brick on end. So we've got a variety of different settings we can actually use for these dimensionally correct objects. And we can also change the database details, so if I go into detail components and I want to add a bit of insulation in here, um, but maybe the insulation isn't physically in the database. So if I go down to my sundries, I can see I've got some battling insulation in there. And I might want to add in maybe 100 mil. So you can see in there it's 90, 60, etc. So we can actually add a component in by clicking add entry or edit database. So when we edit it, we get an entry down at the bottom. And again, we can type in what we want this to be. I'm going to say this is 100 mil fiberglass insulation. Again, we can add in various ratings and values in here as well. And if we give it its thickness and hit close, that will save that item to the database. It will say save the changes. Yep. So if I go back in my detail component manager, and if I look down my sundry items, say for my insulation, and scroll down, you'll see my 100mm fiberglass insulation. So I can insert that component now, again at the bottom. Just going to take my snap elements off, and simply run that in. And again, obey con existing conditions like your snap commands, etc. in there very, very easily. Um, but we can do various other items of this. We can simply trim this detail off. So if we don't want to show this uh, amount of detail, we want to cut the line here. I can select the objects and a feature in AutoCAD architecture is the ability to use these AEC modify tools. I'm doing this under right click. So if I select the objects, right click and go to AEC modify tools, I could go to trim. So I could pick a point diagonally from side to side and then click on the side that I want to trim and it will simply remove that level of detail. But you can see as well, it will actually trim up the edges nice and neat for me. Other point in here is if I had some custom facing brick. So say if I had a look at my object snap tools in here, I'll actually snap to the brickwork. Let's trim that detail back. 
and I maybe want to merge this with the existing component because it's a nice facing brick. I can select the brick up, again right click, use my AEC modify tools and we can do a merge. So if I select the component up, we can say yeah, merge that in and that will change that detail. And obviously we want to annotate this so it's very powerful 2D drafting in here. Um, I know we've got powerful section editing in um, AutoCAD architecture but you might just need to, need to detail a quick 2D element. Um, if we look in our tool palette um, we can bring in our annotation palette here and we can look at um, bringing in um, a keynote against this. So if I say let's reference this out as a keynote, again it will pick up the detail and that's the whole point of having the keynote from the database. So we can simply take it out with a later line and we can enter and it will bring this field in. We know it's field because it's got a grey background and that's changed under the AutoCAD op options. Um, the level of detail, why is it so high um, or on the screen? Well, it's a 1 to 100 scale, so I change that to 1 to 20, and that's more appropriate for my annotation. And again, I can carry on detailing, so I could say, let's pick up my block work here. Again, we can add our leader line in. Again, it's picked up my 1 to 20 detail. And we can also keynote it, shake keynote it here where we have a legend, so let's show this. And um, we'll bring up a question mark initially. And uh, let's do it again. Let's add another one in. Say for the block work, or the brick. We'll take the keynotes off so we get those question marks eliminated. Um, we put our sheet keynote legend in. Select our objects up, hit enter, and give it a position. And we'll put our keynote legend in there. So that's the detail component uh, manager in a very brief nutshell in AutoCAD Architecture 2012. Thanks for listening. I'm David Golly from Pentagon Solutions.